We found one turtle. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to part two of our Oahu vlog. Today we are starting off with breakfast at Yogu Story. Two different type of people. <laughs> the alcohol they want us to. Cheers. How are your face like? It's so sad. It's pretty good. Look at this pork belly. Oh my. Look how jiggly the egg is. Wow. Okay, so we got the Bay X Benedict, which is an egg Benedict on top of a thick slice of braised pork belly. My sister got a prime rib locomoco. My brother-in-law Dewey got a Hawaiian locomoco. And my parents got a breakfast sandwich croissant. So we also ordered some sweet breakfast items. We got their famous ube pancakes. And we also got the red carpet waffles, which is a red velvet waffle with taro cream cheese. All right, I'm gonna try the pork belly. It looks so good. Pork belly spatty, melts in your mouth, flavor is really good. This is a really good dish. The move is to re-dip it into the sauce, get it rehydrated. Mm. The pancake is fluffy, the sauce is creamy, very ube, and not too sweet. Okay, I'm trying the red velvet waffles now. The waffles really don't taste like much. It's really just a vessel for this taro cream cheese thing on top. And that part is very taro-y and it's slightly sweet. It's pretty good, but I like the pancakes better. Alright guys, breakfast was amazing and we are heading to Dole Plantation mix. We have now arrived at the Doe Plantations. They have multiple activities here from the maze to the garden tour to the train. You can buy tickets to individual activity by itself or you can buy all three or all two together. Any combination together. So, But for today, we are only going through the garden tour and it costs $8 per adult. Look at these plants, you guys. This is so unique. <laughs> what do you make that face? <laughs> And when you are at the dough plantation, you gotta get the dough with. This thing is massive. We got the dough float. Yup. Put it next to my face for size. As big as my head. Melting quickly. Oh, is it good? Is it good? Very creamy. Mm. Like the texture is nice. Tangy. Yeah. Alright guys, so I think we're about to be done here at the Dole Plantation and to be honest, I don't think it's worth it because you don't really see any pineapple and uh, the Dole Whip doesn't live up to the hype. So, you know, if you want to save a few dollars in time, then you can avoid Dole Plantation altogether. That's our opinion. We are now at the Shark's Cove, one of the most popular snorkeling area here in North Shore. And we're about to get into the water. Let's see what fishes can we see down there. So as you can see, it's quite rocky here. They have a small sandy beach back there. This is highly recommended that you bring a water shoe so that you can walk on these rocks. <laughs> So every time there's a big wave crashing in, it looks like there's a waterfall in the ocean. It's really cool. Alright guys, so we spent an hour and a half at Shark Cove and now we work up an appetite and we are currently at Jenny's Shrimp Truck. Alright guys, so about 15 minutes later, we got our food and I ordered a spicy garlic shrimp. It comes with two scoops of rice, a lot of sauce and about 10 shrimp side salad and the pineapple for dessert. We really enjoyed this last time we were here. So let's take a bite real quick. Mm. 
The sauce is savory, buttery, it's a little bit spicy. The shrimp, they devein it, but it's still coming into the shell, so you either have to peel it yourself, or you just take a whole bite. The meat is fresh, it's sweet as well. The sauce helps brine up the dish, and give it a little kick, it's really good. Okay, so we got done at Jenny's Shrimp Trucks and we drove about five minutes down the road and now we're at uh, one of the shopping complex along the main street here in North Shore and we are going to try Matsumoto Shave Ice. So we actually changed our mind because the line at Matsumoto is too long. We got some banana bread instead and it was really good. And now we are walking to Sweet Ass to get some ice cream. So we have left the town of Haleiwa and we drove 5 minutes down the road to Daniakea beach. This is where you can see all the sea turtle. Earlier when we drove by at 1 p.m. it was a really long line but right now it is 4 p.m. and there was hardly anybody. So let's hope we can see some sea turtle. We found one turtle. It's currently resting. Audrey is on the look for turtle out in the ocean. So when you're here, if you don't see the turtle back where everyone is, you can just you can just uh, climb up to the rocks. You can tell my mom. She's so excited to see a turtle. We, we're just standing up on the rock, looking out to the ocean. It's like a fun game. You can try to uh, uh, look for the turtle. We are now at the Waimanalo Beach. I think this is one of the most underrated beach here in the east side of Oahu. The water is crystal clear. The sand is white and pristine and there's not a lot of people here. And in the background, you can see the mountains. And the nice part is that they have ample of parking space and a restroom with uh, changing space and fresh water to rinse yourself off. Now the perks is that they actually have a lot of trees here to provide some shade for you while you're laying on the beach. The wave is a little bit big, so if you have small children, this beach might not be the best place for you. But it's still nice regardless. And excuse me squinting because I have salt water in my eye. <laughs> Alright guys, so after we swim in the ocean, we've just been chilling up right here, enjoying the view. It is sunny, but there are also a lot of cool breeze, so it is quite enjoyable. This morning, before we leave for this beach, we start by Cafe Musubi to get the infamous Spam Musubi. And this is gonna be our snack slash lunch at the beach. So good. 
So five minutes away from the beach, they have a Leonard's Bakery Malasada truck. So we are stopping to get some malasadas. One original, one cinnamon sugar, two custard, and two hoppy apples. All right, we got six malasadas. Should we try one right now? We should. Okay. Look at all that sugar. Ooh, and it's steaming hot. Mmm, airy and it's light, it's fluffy, the cream is creamy and not too sweet for the hint of coconut. Let's see if all the things we said are true. Mmm, a lot of sugar everywhere. The key is you have to eat it fresh. So good. After Leonard's Malasada, we got home and got freshened up and now we are out for an early dinner at Takatsu Tamafuji. They are opening at 4 p.m. and we got here at 3.40 and there are already six parties in front of us. Okay, so they open at 4 p.m. and luckily we were part of the first wave to get in. I think we got the last table uh, in this first round of opening. So that was really lucky and we are now ready to order. I got a katsu egg set, which looks really good. The sauce is a little bit sweet and savory. And if you don't know already, this cabbage is a limited refill. I'm gonna take a bite of the pork. Super juicy, it's tender, it's fried to perfection. I got the pork and shrimp and it is so good. Regardless, the views up here are amazing. Mm -hmm. This is our first time here and definitely highly recommend coming up here. It is raining. Good thing we had this in the car. And we is also cold. We just hit a tank top. So this acts as a blanket. Oh, we're oh no, we're gonna suffer it. the rain to see the sunset. We gotta push the rain. Good morning, you guys. Today we are starting off with the hike at Makapu Lighthouse Trail. It's just us two and Hui's parents this morning. So uh, we'll see how long this takes us. We're excited. So it is 8.30 right now and we can see the summit from here. I think what's really helpful is that we start our day early so it has a nice breeze and it's not too sunny making this a very enjoyable hike slash walk up to the lighthouse. We got an acai bowl to share for our post hike snack. Do you like the coffee? It's really good. It's smooth. It has a little taste of coconut. I really like it. Alright, guys. 
guys, we are now made it to the Koolina Lagoon, the public park. We're gonna have some lunch, picnic on the beach, trying to keep our stuff from being blown away. And we're about to go into that water. But it has been around for over a hundred years. It's soft, it's chewy. The filling inside is almost has like a mung bean paste texture. And it has a, a slightly sweetness to it with a lychee flavor. So it's really good. Alright, now that we're full, we are in the water. It's a tad bit chilly, but that's been the common theme with every single beach we go to. It's chilly in the beginning, but once you get in for a few minutes, you're fine. Look at how clear this water yeah, is. And it's very calm too. Yeah. Uh, again, we're going to a lot of like, kid-friendly places. <gasps> okay, hang on. I got real deep all of a sudden. Let me come back. <laughs> because um, Hui's mom is actually really scared of the waves. So we're, we're trying to find places where she'll be able to enjoy the water without worrying about waves crashing onto her and knocking her down because that's what happened yesterday at the Waimanalo Beach. <laughs> yep. So yeah. Only me and Hui are in the water right now. Everybody else is finishing eating. But we're trying to make the most out of it to get as much sunshine as we can because today's the last full day that we're here. But yeah, we're gonna make the most of it. It is 5 o'clock now and we are leaving Koolina Lagoon. Time to go eat. We had such a good time here. I think this is one of our favorite beach here in Hawaii. We ate well and now we're enjoying the last sunset in Hawaii. Look at this. last sunset was the perfect way to end our trip so we are gonna end this vlog here thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up comment down below and hit that subscribe button and last but not least don't forget to keep winning, winning at, at live. live see you next video bye, bye.